Greetings, my fellow space miners, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Outpost Zero, Episode 14, Craving Plasteel. Okay, uh, the one that's coming south is going to destroy doors, so I'm going to have Icarus go guard the doors. Trustin, I am going to have you tend to yourself, because you get beat up pretty good. Rager, let's see if there's any gear here um, that... I want shieldbot would be nice. So these two people shieldbots would be not bad. Oh, you're marine armor. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the marine armor. Yoink! And then here's a prediction about the quality of um, glitches stuff. Legendary or not legendary? For reference, he's like a crafter seven at seventeen. I don't even. Yeah, so make an informed decision. Uh, this door is forced open. I think they're going to exit through that door, so they're not going to destroy my doors. And then this one is destroyed. Uh, Plasteel helmet. Um, now, at this point, I'm looking for commando armor. On living people that I can strip. But I don't think I see any. No, I don't think there's any. Oh, marine armor. Nice. I'm going to try to stop the other shield belters for their plasteel. No, nope, apparently not. Get out of Oh, you have uh, recon armor. That I will take. Let's go focus on Oscar. Even though the fight's over, there's still loot to be had, right? Trust in how it's going. Slow patch. Oh, let's chase him down. I think they're high in go juice, which is why it's taking forever. Come on, get Oscar. Glitch is having a hard time catching up. Alright, you're done. Rager, have you killed? No, only three? So here's four. Go, go, fee fi fo fum Icarus, you failed me. Uh, part partially because I wasn't micromanaging you. So I'll take the blame. No, Oscar's gonna get out. Alright, let's just fall back. But Edwards, you are not going to be able to leave. This is good uh, shooting training. Oh, good job. Good shooting training. Okay, threat's over. That was uh, that was a, a potentially scary raid, given that they had, like, doomsday launches and everything. Uh, Rager, here. Kill number five. There are Reapers, yes. Not yet, but yes. Oh, Gideon, what do you have? Synthread, I don't really care. You have a good sniper rifle, though. That's not bad. Let people out of the rooms. I will in just a second, now that the threat's over. Rager is going to be super happy for a long, long time. Phoenix, you're a doctor. Why are you... Shell... How... Why are you laying there? I'm super massively confused. Because that's not a hospital room? Oh, because you're cheating on... Oh, right, right, right. No, you sleep over here, Shellbell. You're like the town's bicycle. Alright, 
I think I am going to move the bedrooms here because I have a plan for that room. I like the oh I am on raid red. I like the peaceful music after all the all the fighting. So this will be Shelva and Trustin's bedroom. And this will be Rager and Glitches. Is she back with Trustin? No, they're still married. She never left Trustin. She just cheated on him. Technically. Okay, so we have a universal stockpile now. Nice. A lot of corpses to cremate. Ragers on it. And then we have doors to replace because we had uh, some of our doors blown out. All the still nodes are all mined up. All right, Lucid. How is your quest for Plasteel going? 53%. Okay, we're getting close. That's good. I'm losing patience because there's a lot more to this series than just grinding out bedrooms. Just, we need that Kodiak first. Was trying to avoid the uh, power shortage, but I couldn't. Hey, buddy. You want me to pick you up? Still have the uh, low, sh low shield core out there. Poor hostages. Uh, another hostage... Mission. What reward to accept? We have shirts, uranium, disruptor rounds. So disruptor rounds is like EMP rounds uh, to stun mechs and goodwill. Have you vote on that? And then glitch, I believe you are set to make a shield belt. So I'm going to queue that up. We're almost done with the pathing. So I'll, I'll call that done. We're close enough. I don't know why there's one tile that nobody wants to make. I'm just going to force it. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was there. So current priority is research. Get long range plasteel is really what it is. Uh, what research am I doing right now? Oh, Kodiak, so that's right. So the plan for this room is going to be the uh, galaxy map room, once I have the resources for it. Steel should not be in there. Got here. Doors are getting rebuilt. Good. What about this one? Well, there's still a body in there. Somehow the animal flap got destroyed? Man, you raiders are wild. Cheers. 
The Galaxy map allows you to accept missions for the cost of goodwill, which um, can be exciting. It was Masterwork. So, sorry, Legendary crew, but you lost. I really would have guessed it was uh, Legendary, given that he is level 17. You'd think he could manage a Masterwork quality kicking up to a uh, Legendary, but nope. No such luck. Uh, I think, Icarus, I am going to make you a brawler. So, I don't have a melee weapon for you right now. But I will get one. Because you are a biotic user, and I think you're going to be more powerful with a shield belt. Here, you can have a thrumble horn. It's probably actually stronger than the Asari weapon. The, the Asari sword that Rager has... Uh, has a benefit of biotic regen recovery rate, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, didn't I? Oh, it's too heavy for you. Fine. Have a spear. There you go. Jaffa Kree. And you're no longer a hunter. And then you're going to move next to Rager. Nice. All right, disruptor rounds it is. So, except, and the hostages are, I really hope we Kodiak there. I do not want to have to walk there. That's kind of far away. I'm lazy. What can I say? Okay, our perimeter is secured. We have walls everywhere. The door that should be propped open is propped. Good. Uh, the bedrooms are a little hot. Because it's summertime and I have it vented in. So I, I gotta fix that. I should have fixed that like uh, days and days and days and days and days ago. But I didn't. Sorry, people that are sleeping in the 110 degree heat. That's unbearable and sounds horrible. But it's been remedied. We close the vents and... Look at how clean everything looks now. So fresh and so clean. So, tainted stuff is going to be in here. In fact, let's do important for... Apparel that is tainted. Because, obviously, that's one of the things that we're going to, uh, to always smell. Forgot to hide the pole. Good. You hurt my instructor. My craftsman. Doing a little bit of pre health on glitch so he recovers quicker. Hey! Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Uh, what were you up to? Let me do a traditional shout out. You were up to. Oh, cool. Like podcasting. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. And welcome, Raiders. If you want to know more about this series that I got going on, there is a blurb there. And if you want more details, you can click the link for more details. And welcome, Raiders. I appreciate it. Ah, Crimson Rust. Thanks for, uh, for, for gifting out some subs. I think this tea is probably scalding hot, so I'm going to leave it alone. But uh, I'll drink it when I'm able. You invite streamers to interview. Cool. Sounds neat. Yeah, I don't really... I'm not about to fight raccoons. So, Lucid, can you close the doors? We just lock them out. And then set everyone to be inside. Problem solved. Every time I look, I have more animals that are behind my walls. Every time. You hate how psychic binges work with a passion? Unless you arrest them, they drink like 30 or 40. Same with food binges. Uh, it's one of the reasons why gourmand is one of my least favorite traits. Because you don't need to have a psychotic break to go on a... I'm going to go consume like a thousand... 
uh, food worth of meals for no reason, because, yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Glitch, did you get patched up? You did. Cool. All right. Uh, the guarantee find is not... I mean, we're at 72%, so it's only a matter of time, but my streamer luck, or whatever you want to call it, really super failing me, if, uh, if I'm going to be honest. I have not made progress here at all. But the forced lockdown uh, allows me to get some hauling done. Yeah, the animals keep sneaking in when I'm forced to deal with raiders. I guess at this point, uh, you know, I still have a lot of pemmican. I'm just going to keep going with the pemmican. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this corn. I have 4,600 corn. I'm a... Yeah, never mind. I stopped myself. Banish puppet. Congratulations on the full. Um, I'm going to release it to the wild. I was considering slaughtering it, but I'm just going to release it. it. Seems a little bit more ethical. Just don't get, uh... Don't get uh, raccooned while you're out there. Are the raccoons calm now? Yeah, they're calm, right? Yeah, they're, they're chill. Okay, so back to... Lucid's lab for everybody except for Lucid, who's on Area 1. I caught you, Lucid. I caught you in the wrong spot. Glitch doesn't need meds, just give him coffee and he'll insta-heal. <laughs> we found it! Lump of plasteel! Um, finally! Jesus. So... I'm gonna send Epi and Icarus out there. It's likely hostile, so... Maybe Rager and Epi. Yeah. Epi because Epi's a minor. And Rager because, you know, she'll just kill everything. And then... Um, I'm contemplating sending one more muscle. Like Trustin. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I'm going to bring the Packers of Rival Meals because uh, that pemmican really did me in. Did me dirty last time I was out there. Bring some Ambrosia on the road. Some tea. Some beer, if I have it. Maybe go juice, just in case the whatever danger it is is actually legit dangerous. And then let's uh, let's flip flop these around. So Lucid is the only one that's going to be allowed into the research room, and everybody else can have access to the long range mineral scanner, which will be tuned to plasteel still. And then also I'll do the ground pen scanner as well. So this zone. So Lucid won't be allowed to use the scanners. But everyone else will. I might not have the power to keep both on, so I'm going to keep... I'm going to do the ground pen scan uh, as a preference. Alright, those that are... Um, those that are traveling will be set to travel food. Wow, you guys are in a really bad mood. Oh, uh, maybe I should... Oh, I can't counsel you. Do we ever end up flooring the barn? I just actually got hay, so let me get the straw matting in for the barn. So I haven't had it till moments ago. Uh, is there 
there a mod that automatically assigns certain food restrictions if someone's on caravan? Probably. I don't know of one, though. So we're half a day away. And let's hope the danger isn't something that those people can't handle. So, Kodiak. Uh, update. Mine. The Plaz Steel and Research Kodiak and Rescue Hostage. The other thing I might want, uh, knowing that I have a Kodiak potentially on the horizon, is to get a deep drill um, to start uh, mining the Ezo. Also, wouldn't be a terrible idea to mine out this uranium too, because it could it could be useful. Let's prop open the wooden door. Given the current season, oh, I guess it's too late to not sow more. But yeah, I probably don't need more stuff. I have so much, so many vegetables. Put a switch in the mine power line. Uh, for for what? I'm sort of curious what purpose that would serve. The other thing I, I wanted to do is to set this up to be anti-bug. So Biotic Lance is a... What is that? 5x5 five five with corners? Yeah, 5x5 five five with corners. So let's set up a Biotic Lance murder hole here. Um, so that we fill in the space... So that if we do end up getting a uh, insect attack, they get absolutely wrecked by lances. So that is mining out this spot so that they group up in one big cluster here and I just cluster bomb them with uh, a brawler in the door here. Ideally, I would actually want a 3 to 1 ratio brawl. So maybe... Like that, leaving this door open, propped open. Knowing that, eh, no, uh, I take that back. It will look a little weird, but I'm just going to do it like this. Because it's meta, quote unquote. Alright, we're at the plast deal. Uh, I am going to go red until I know it's safe. Rager, I'm going to have you go in first because you have a shield belt. Trust in you're going to guard Epi. I don't see insects. Maybe it's not uh, protected. I mean, who knows? Ambush! Jeffy. <laughs> oh no, a wild Jeffy has appeared. And he's dead. Okie dokie, time to mine. Nice, nice try, Jeffy. I saw through your ruse. I know how to read the blues clues. I don't think there's really anything for Trustin to be doing right now. You know, that's not true. Trustin, level up your construction for no reason. Is whatever. Oh, actually, there is something for you to do. Cut a... Cut a tree down so you can build a torch. So that they can see what the hell they're doing. Because it is dark in there. Yeah, he's lurking in a mining spot with a knife. Didn't work out well for him. Not... In the least. I'm surprised I haven't had any infestations, honestly. I mean, I know I just jinxed myself and I'm about to get one. Chances are, but like... Interesting that uh, I've been infest-free. 
And yes, I said it like that, and it was not necessary, but I have no regrets. Are you? Okay. For a second, it looked like he was eating Jeffy, but it's he's just smoothing that tile. You had me worried there, Trustin, that you were a secret cannibal, Shia LaBeouf. But we're good. Uh, the other thing I could do is... Oh, did I? Did not bring sleeping rolls. Well, no one said I was a smart man. They just... Forget that. This is not, um, this is not prefab style, but we're not home, so I don't care. I'm trying to enclose it so that we sleep indoors, but nope, too late. Sleeping on the ground outdoors. This is a lot of, uh, plasteel. It's kind of nice. Lots and lots and lots of plasteel. Right, Yoda?
Oh, yeah, I'm muted because I was trying to eat. My bad. It's a rite of passage that a, uh, a streamer mutes themselves and not realizes it for a minute. All I was saying is that the bagel looked... I was I was insulting my, my wife's ability to spread cream cheese because the bagel looked really, really sad. And it probably looked very funny for you because I was just holding up a bagel randomly with no context. Like you do. You know little, like, bagel dance? Yeah. Hi, Tusky. Can you catch for me? Good catch. Good catch. Yoda cannot catch. Oh, hi, hi Echo. Echo, if you want bagel, hop up on the on the on the couch. Chile. And there goes my my dinner. Like I didn't even take a bite of this, and already half of it's gone. No, you have to get up on the couch. Uh, she is really good at catching, so I have no worries about her. Oh, that was a terrible throw. That's my fault. She got it. Uh, Rager. Just finished mining. Let's get out of here. Am I looking forward to the new DLC? Are you kidding? Like, do you have to ask? I'm almost insulted you have to ask. Almost, but... Yeah, of, of course I'm excited. Who wouldn't be? Bye, Echo. No, I said, I said bye, not hi. <laughs> She's licking me. No, don't eat my dinner. Leave my dinner alone. And we're done. So I get 429 plasteel. That is amazing. I hope I can carry it all. I can. And then some. I have plenty of over overhead. Sorry, mech hive, but not today. The door is closed, but they're like locked in here with me. Um, I'm not sure why, but they are. I have real life raiders, I know. <laughs> and they're, they're stealing my prepackaged survival meals <laughs> and, and rendering me mealless. It's really sad. Uh, with this plasteel, I am pretty sure I'll be able to afford a Kodiak. I actually forget the cost of a Kodiak. I don't remember what it costs. Um, yeah, I don't know. What was that timer for? Oh, the yak. That's right. Kadath yak. Kadath, how do you feel about me milking you? Is that, uh, is that a little weird? <laughs> I should, I should have not said it. <clears throat> I can't take it back now, though. Darn. All right, how's my power? I'm gonna get into the battery. Durr, no, you're not. God, these people and their highway robbery. Um, so you guys are all pathetic weapons. Hey, horses, I know. It seems like I am ditching you, and I am not. Ooh. Who is Biotic Charge? Is that Rager? Dang, Rager. I cannot wait to give you more amps. Because you are going to get scary with additional amps. So I'm just going to go max range. and I mean, these guys are so screwed. In fact, it's actually helpful because all it's really doing at this point is making Rager happier that she gets to kill people. Hit. There's a little bit of science of, like, how to lead a target. I suspect if you are, like, a League of Legends or Dota player, maybe that's a relatable skill. Hit. Uh, Epi, you shouldn't even be fighting, but I guess... I guess it's acceptable that she's fighting, because, like... Uh... We're being attacked on the road. It's not like I drafted her. She's defending herself. I think that's pretty legit. Uh, I don't even care about their stuff. Uh, even their package survival meals, like, whatever. I uh, can get moving. I just want to get home. Oh, I have access to it from here. That works. I don't even have to strip the corpses. Oh, 
Let me try to have another bite of my bagel before it's stolen by this little, little, uh, mogwai. I don't know if you know what this means, Gadath. I tried to do it non-verbally, but then I was like, well, you know. The other thing I might be able to do for bugs is, and this is kind of expensive, but if I'm, um, no, I'll do it in wood, is to put down where the lance lands, to put down um, wood for uh, flammability. So if I do end up with bugs, I can let them on fire really good. I had to dev mode... Um, Lucid's uh, sickness out. I suppose it would be very possible to set up that sickness to be removable with um, bioregen. I just didn't do it. But luckily you guys were were uh, sympathetic and, and allowed me to dev mode it. I mean, I do think that if a bioregeneration cycle... I mean, because bioregeneration cycles regrow your fingers, so why wouldn't they be able to just remove like a little bit of disease, right? Canonically, bioregen is just that strong. It's like, oh, I'm missing an eyeball. It regrew my eyeball. Like, like, yeah. But I think I think it's fair. If you don't think it's fair, uh, too too late. We had a we had a poll, and and it's too late to uh to disagree. <laughs> um, question for you all: Should I get a geothermal? Now, or save up for the Kodiak. I, I don't, again, remember the exact cost of a Kodiak, so I don't know how much I have to save up for said Kodiak, but I figured I'd, I'd ask if you guys want me to add a Geothermal Jenny to my, uh, to my base. <sighs> Could you not, Viara? I guess now is a good time as any to add some additional pews. And... Maybe to floor it up. Maybe now's the time. Um, colonial... Slate. So how much is this? Uh, I guess it should count. Okay, and then colonial sandstone. It'll be a little striped. That's the stone I have. Oh, can't see anything. It's going to be disrespected briefly, but like, it's getting better. I actually don't even see that it's complaining about its disrespect, which is interesting. What's weird is like, we don't use the ritual room. There's not a good reason for me to be doing this in here over my dining room, but like, whatever. Oh, that was a short, short uh, solar flare. Some, some mercy from Liara. So the Kodiak is a shuttle. Uh, if you've played Mass Effect, it's it's a thing in Mass Effect. It's a pu puddle jumper, but it'll you can control it. It's kind of nice. Very useful. So, I need advanced components from Mr. the Glitch. Let's do until we have 10. Yeah, oddly, this isn't being disrespected, and I don't understand why. Because it's not floored, but the game doesn't seem to care. Wow, I've never seen nine... Well, I probably have, I just never made note of it. Nine Ambrosia in a row. I have so much ambrosia at this point. 
The game gives Ambrosia out a lot. If 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 I was to retool it, I would probably have a Sprout only give you like three or something. I had nine in Dragons, but Dragons ran a lot longer. So it makes sense. It's getting impressive in there. Ooh, steel. Not convenient. What could be worse? Ambrose is a good way to get early silver. Not in this series. There's no trade possibilities. Due to the lore of the series, there's basically purposefully no trade opportunities by design. Because we're supposed to be essentially the pioneers on this planet. So why would we have trade opportunities? That makes no sense. You know? All right, second battery. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Outpost Zero, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 15th and October 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that this was a one-time streamed mini-series. If you would like to catch live streams of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers, and also viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios, my fellow Pathfinders.